Item number SCP-1486 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1486 to be kept in Containment Locker 392B at Site-46. Following Incident 1486-8, a 55 meter spherical radius to be demarcated around SCP-1486 as an area in which absolutely no copulation is to occur. Description: SCP-1486 is a children's doll, 48 cm in height. SCP-1486 is animate, however, due to its nature, it is mostly immobile. SCP-1486 is highly damaged and is missing its right arm. SCP-1486 will frequently exude human blood, feces, pus, and cervical mucus from small pores covering its torso and head. SCP-1486 is seemingly sapient. If a fertile human couple of opposite sexes completes copulation within 50 meters of SCP-1486, regardless of contraceptive use, SCP-1486 will disappear from where it has been placed and appear in the female subject's uterus at less than .01% of its original size. SCP-1486 will then begin slowly increasing in size to the rate of a normal embryo and fetus. Footnote 1. For financial and ethical concerns, testing regarding the subject body's acceptance and nourishment of SCP-1486 has not been performed. For more information, read Dr. Fulnan's paper, SCP-1486, Hypotheses Regarding the Placenta and Immune System. Ultrasound testing of the subject has shown that SCP-1486 retains its shape throughout the growth process. Subjects may sustain damage to the uterine wall, causing infertility. Excretions from SCP-1486 will exit through the cervix. After a period of nine months, SCP-1486 will induce labor in the subject. SCP-1486 may be birthed normally, however, due to the presence of several harsh edges on the exterior, cesarean sections have proven to be a much safer form of delivery. Once it has been birthed, SCP-1486 will search for the subject mother, and in some instances, SCP-1486 will attempt to breastfeed unless restrained. SCP-1486 can communicate verbally through unknown means and will address the subject and others. Attempted abortion results in SCP-1486 rapidly expanding, causing the subject's abdomen to rupture. SCP-1486 will be immediately hostile. SCP-1486 was discovered by Foundation operatives following a complaint submitted by after an ultrasound imaging session. Addendum 1486-1 Interviewed SCP-1486 Interviewer Dr. Fulnan Forward SCP-1486 had recently been birthed and was sitting with D-7397, its mother, at the time of interview. D-7397 had been sedated and was unconscious. Begin log. Hello, SCP-1486. Hey, Doc. Long time no see. Indeed. Nine months, if I had to guess, laughs. How's it hanging? It's fine. Mind if I ask a few questions? Shoot. Alright, who or what made you? Well, Doc, when a mommy and a daddy really love each other or are really fucking drunk. Please answer the question. How do you think? My mama got laid and I happened to be the fastest sperm. Alright, how did you become damaged? Being born isn't fucking easy. You can get pretty torn up. I think I would know that better than anyone. Okay, so this woman is your mother? Yeah, this woman here is my mama. Might not be the best looker, but she's got the best tits I've ever seen. So you've seen tits before this? It's an expression, dumbass. But what about all the times you've been, er, born before this? What? You don't remember being born before this birth? Well, yeah, of course I do. Were the women those times not your mother? I thought they were, but they would scream and throw me away. How could they be my mama if they would do that? They gave birth to you. Well, yeah, but I mean they hate me. How could a mother hate her own kid, Doc? Enough to hurt them so much. Lots of mothers. It doesn't make any sense. How could they just throw me away? How could they just hammer it in like that? Well, I mean, I just don't get it. 1486, can we stop, please? End log. Closing statement. Examination of SCP-1486 following the interview showed a severely increased excretion of cervical mucus from the area surrounding its eyes. SCP-1486 was separated from D-7397 and placed into storage.